offs herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving Stop her. talking. I was... I was only gone an hour. How did this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always. When I went out. And I got back to... Fuck. If I'd just known, I'd have... You checked your pulse? V She's gone. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine. I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? You know... To you, she's your best friend, so... It's a terrible tragedy. But... They must get dozens of calls like this every day. What are you? The fucking PR rep? No, just saying. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. I'm a sig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. She smoked some strange boutique brand. That's Evie. Whenever she pulled on a new face, it was down to the details. A lot of people know the real Evelyn? Who she really was? No. Nobody. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. I can't wrap my head around it. Never saw Evelyn as the type to give up. Come on. What she went through? I wouldn't call it giving up. Her condition couldn't think about anything else. 
Tech-wise, she was clean. Dalshard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging and her virtues found Woodman. He kept her and had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. And why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, call her on the hollow. Sure, we can pack, we can ride, but what then? The contract's dead. We've got no reason to stay. You're the only one who's ready to camp. Because Saul doesn't know when to quit. No, the rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. V, you're here. What is she doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think You I... really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me. No point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. 
I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Zal insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess, whole thing's your idea? How did you know? Saul so wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull, Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Remember, a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. No, you're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Thought you and Solid agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You Where's saved his life. You wanna fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. And you plan to grab the basilisk, how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Dumb short. Yeah, it's all too... Easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Combing your way, almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know, but you guys? A few years back, nobody would have given corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. 
Okay. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. And the Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though... Never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie, by name. You would've liked him, actually. Jackie? I'll remember that. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Any of this goes south. You know, Pan Am will be the one to pay. Do you see us hanging her out to dry? Do you see Saul letting us off the hook while Pan Am takes the fall for everything? I'm starting to like this kid, Ted. She thinks she cares about Pan Am more than the girl's own family. Didn't take her side last time she left the clan. Why? Because last time, Pan Am was acting a damn fool. Thinking she's learned something? She's smarter? Yes, she left. Learned a few things. Managed on her own. I knew when to come back. People like that are worth a lot more than those who plant their asses in one spot and do as they're told. Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful?
Um, got a use for me? Not particularly. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Locomotive operations have temporarily ceased. Penham asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? Need hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Huh, that was quick. The stairs it is, then. been fond of trains and the stations where so many tracks converge hmm junctions yes those when you see them from above you feel free like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once perhaps more simply hopeful okay here we are What are we looking for? Punch cards. What cards? Oblong cards, holes in rows and columns. Would you help me look? Sure thing. Not here. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Nothing here. Okay, it must be nothing here. Nothing. It worked. Come look. Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me, but... Why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No, I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy, got eyes and ears on it? Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. 
Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Get your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? We've quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another once over. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Don't talk about the war much. there to say they just packed you into a panzer down in mexico and said full speed ahead soldier and it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard ai drinking iodide like water because your gaga wouldn't shut up mm -hmm. i'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin uh-huh but you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk huh that's different Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. Jackie. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Anything happens, wake me up. Unless you want to nap, too. I'll just lie here a while, fireside, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? 
Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, V. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. How's it going there, V? 
Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting to mention Teddy. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Till that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. V? Got to the bottom of Ebonica. Flicked pings to some contacts. Grayson buzzed familiar for a friend from the olden days. He did some digging. Found something. Section of the docks that's Maelstrom turf. So why are these docks called Ebonike? Pretty sure it's got nothing to do with some long dead mayor. Dead wrong, actually. It's not the docks. It's an old container ship named after the guy. So you found Grayson? You really got an in with Smasher? Come see me. After life. We'll talk. Okay. Crispin Wayland. He's helping us. Hey, v. I hear your haunting smasher. Ready? We'll talk on the way. V, 
Wayland of, of the Wayland. Yes, girl. I take it you heard of old Andrew Boa Boa. Like everybody in this town. That is nice, but me don't share my father's aspirations. So me expect to live longer than he did. We going? Let's go. Good luck. Coming back later? Maybe. Don't know. Don't wait up. How did Wayland help you exactly? He made sure we'll find Grayson at home when we stop by. So we know where to look for him. Got you a little something. Try it on. This Johnny's jacket? Cool, with me wearing it. Sure you won't confuse us? Quite sure. Thanks. A replica. Made to order. Real jacket must have disintegrated into dust years ago. Thanks. Jump in. Finally looking half decent. What'd Johnny say about me? No, you two talk all the time. Said you're the best. Always were. The best? <laughs> Too bad that comes at a price. Sure you're up for this. What? You getting cold feet? No. Just... Don't want to see Johnny haze you. Adam Smasher's his obsession. Not yours. <laughs> Think so? Just trying to play fair. Little weird you didn't run into Smasher before now. Came up in conversation, time to time. But, uh... Never tried to track him down? Listen, V. The fact that Johnny's back changes things, okay? Okay, sure. Believe me, I'd know. Okay, here's as far as we go. Might be our lucky day. Drop Grayson and Smasher in one go. Fucker's gotta be around here somewhere. So what's our plan? Wayland saw Grayson somewhere on the docks. He was with somebody. Smasher. So I hope. Gotta get to the Maelstrom data term first. Should be some info on Smasher there. Main stash house. Data term's there. Know where their data term is? How, exactly? Set up the by myself. Athena D3, external database. Didn't know you worked for Maelstrom. Work for anybody, long as it's on my terms. See, I missed a lot these last 50 years. Okay, we can start. Ready? Too many rats around. Better wait till a little darkness creeps in. And in the meantime, we do what? Wait and watch. Okay, good as it's gonna get. Maelstrom's got the dogs covered, and you'll cover me. Come on, let's go. She's tense. Cover her just in case. Got an idea. Wait a sec, then follow me.
Can you open it? Okay. Watch it now. Gotta get to the data term, quietly. Okay, guns are blazing then. We're going to Maelstrom's main storehouse. Data terms there. Gotta check. See if they have anything on Smasher. exactly where to find him. She's stalling. Told you, Rogue's still scared of the asshole. Looks like they're hiding out on the ship. Okay, let's see what we turn up.
there she is. The Ebony King. <laughs> Not looking so hot. Even shittier on the inside. Let's go. to believe he's got his hidey hole here. Did you expect Smasher to put up a sign or something? Now where are you, huh? Gotta search the deck. Okay. Why are you even doing this? I'm settling a score. Stay Avenging tight. Johnny. Coming for you. That too. <sighs> You want to play with me? Over Come on! Here. Shooting at me with my own gun. Maloria, 3560. Grab the gun. You're not getting out alive! Come here, you! Not yours, I don't think. Grayson. Oh my, Rogue. Uh, you and me not playing for the same team anymore? <clears throat> Guess I'm not at all surprised. Seems your specialty. Slipping shivs in the backs of allies. Ugh. Where's Smasher? I'd start talking if I were you. Wound looks pizza wreck awful. And I don't see no one around who could help. But I'm happy to talk. Ever wonder how Rogue survived after the attack on the tower? How in hell no one ever hunted her down? Her alone. <clears throat> Out of all that Atlantis trash. Cause I do. I truly wonder how far she had to go to set herself up so comfy. Who'd she finger fuck? <laughs> Whose crack did she have to lick to- <laughs> What's he going on about? He's trying to throw you off. Gong thinks he can still squirm out of this. Where's Smasher now? <clears throat> With the Arasakas. But I think you know that already. When's he due back? Never. Faithful old Adam's just been named head of security there. <clears throat> Not coming back to this rat hole ever. I stayed behind just to tie off his loose ends. Shit! Could say that again. You two will never jump that high. Smasher's out of your reach. But don't feel bad. He'll find you himself. Likes to resolve shit like this in person. Gonna lead us to Smasher, Assface. Even if I wanted to, he don't trust me enough to. Hey, why are you so interested in Smasher anyway? I'm not. Interested in Silverhand, and what happened to him? <laughs> Johnny Silverhand? <laughs> what do you want to know? Silverhand's iron. You had it. What? You a fan, too? Smasher give it to you? Uh-huh. Reward for a special job well done. Smasher ever tell you what he did with Silverhand's body? That into him, huh? Plan to exhume that scup? Or you just want to hear how he died, soaked in his own piss, neurons scorched by Soul Killer? What did they do with him? Badlands, near the oil fields, buried out there. <coughs> 101 northbound, then head for the landfill. Dig deep enough, might even find a shit smeared. Heard of your 
finish him. Let's end this Fuck. quickly. Want to rip my eyes out just looking at him. No, no, wait. I got something. Silverhand. You're into him, right? Could give you something. Don't want a damn thing from you. Good. One Dixpert less. Let's Delta. Pointless. This whole thing. Still no leads, nowhere to go from here. Fuck. V, tell her. Johnny says you'll get him yet. Oh yeah? We'll tell him? Fuck. Can't even have a normal convo with him. Smasher. Fuck! You don't get it. This isn't about Smasher. He's just the goddamn tip of the iceberg. Even if we get him, what does that get us? Later, V. Leave her alone, V. She'll get it together. But times like this, she prefers to be alone. Okay. I get that. Let's hit those oil fields. Want to see what it looks like out there. Can't believe they bothered to truck it all the way out here. Uh, better than the junkyard where I landed. So that's how it is. Nothing here at all. What did you expect? Headstone, flag, and flowers? No. I... I don't know. A marker. Something. Anything. We'll figure something out. It was my real grave. What would you write? Here lies Johnny Silverhand. Relentless rocker boy who never surrendered. Not even in death. Thanks. But what's that do for me now? What I achieve fighting Arasaka? So many dead. And those suits are still on top. Won't win this war going solo. Might be a good thing we're in this together. That's just it. Don't want to drag you down into the swamp with me. Listen, I realize I fucked up a lot of things. Either let down or used every last person who gave me their trust. Blind, selfish bastard that I was. But I've managed one thing for now. Not to fuck this up. What we have. Been a long, bumpy road, but we made it. Most people I thought were my friends. They couldn't even stand to be in the same room with me. You're fucking closest to me by a long shot. There, 24-7. And yet, you don't seem to hate my living guts. You were a real dickwipe at first. You sort of deserved it. Remember waking up at Victor's not knowing about me? I'm seeing things, I'm scared. Then moaning at Misty's about how you didn't want to die. Remember you whining for smokes in the middle of the night, complaining about... Not being able to kill me. Never thought we'd make it this far. When you said you let your friends down, did you mean Rogue? Rogue, Alt, Carrie, Santiago. Not all's lost yet. At least with Rogue. Can't pretend nothing's changed over 50 years. 
Can't just insert myself into her life. Come on. Already have. True that. You know, did promise her I'd take her to the movies long, long ago. Good idea. Call her for me. Ask if she's free some night. Thing is, you'd have to surrender control. Again. Yeah. I'll call her. Okay. Let's Delta. Nothing to see here after all. Worth coming out all the same? Absolutely. Thanks, V. Of all the heads I could have popped up in, hella glad it was yours.